Hello friends, welcome back to Nessa's Nook. Today I'm going to try something that I haven't tried before. And I got this recipe off Facebook, one of those little shorts that's on Facebook. And I was reading through the, some of the comments and somebody was like, ah, you know, the canned goods of this, this, and this, this is just a recipe for disaster. And hers came out really liquidy, which I don't know for sure if mine will. I did cut my chicken a little bit short, um, smaller, so it shouldn't take as long to cook. And then I'll take the lid off after a little bit of it being cooked so um, that uh, this can actually maybe not be as liquidy. I want it to be liquidy because I want to pour it over some rice, but I don't want it to be like a soup either. And yes, I don't know what some of those people, they're just mean there on Facebook. Um, because I'm making like a fall um, uh, orange chicken. My husband likes orange chicken and I, I don't really care for it. I've made it a few times, but this looked really easy an easy throw together meal. Um, if you do like orange chicken, I may have to put some sort of thickener in this when it's done. I don't know. Um, but I thought the meal looked good, even though it was liquidy. So I'm bringing it down here and show you what I'm going to do. Now she didn't have really any measurements. Okay. I have, you know, what I had left of some frozen chicken, and um, I go ahead and just throw that in my crock pot, and then um, what she did was she put half of the jar, but it was a bigger jar than this, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and put the whole jar in here, and... You know, it may be too sweet. It might not taste sweet enough. I don't know. Let me raise that camera up a little bit. Because like I said, I've never made it this way. And hopefully you guys are nicer to me than the people were to her. Like I said, I mean, I'm all for trying some new meals just, just to get out of the daily grind of the same, same, same meals. Because um, I mean, that I'm sure, I don't know for sure if it happens at your house. I mean, we have to eat, obviously, but there's just times that, you know, I'm just like, do I really have to eat? So I'm going to have be chopping up a red pepper. I have to get a new cutting board, so I'll be right back. All right, so I got this one, and um, usually I just break out my little handy-dandy chopper. I don't feel like doing that today. I am just no energy whatsoever today. So you're going to be throwing in a whole red pepper. And I'm going to go ahead and get these all chopped up. And um, I'll show you when that's done. Alright, so I got these chopped. So I'm going to go ahead and put these over here. And then what she did is she put some onions. And then go ahead and use my frozen onions. Put some frozen onions just in here. Now I'm not going to put any salt in here because of the soy sauce. Because you all know soy sauce is very salty as it is. But what she did then is she put a little bit of soy sauce throughout here. And I suppose this is not the way that you do make orange chicken. Um, I get that. So, you know, hopefully your comments will be nice. And for the most part, you guys are all really nice. If you probably don't have anything to say, you have not said anything. Which, you know, is okay too. And this is just some sweet baby rays. And that goes down. I'll probably add the rest of it. I'm going to go ahead and add some of the canned garlic. And it doesn't ask for that, but everybody's complaining that there's no spices in there. I'm going to go ahead and put in some pepper. And you're supposed to cook this, like I said, on high for three, for three hours. I don't think we're going to have to cook it on high for three hours, but, um, you know, I'll keep checking on this. 
See, what gets me is this doesn't look liquidy. So I don't know where her batch of stuff became so liquidy at. And no, I do not make my own orange marmalade. I really need to. I should. Um, but I just, I never have yet. One of these days I will. And then, I'll, of course, I'll use my own orange marmalade. And if all my tomatoes go good, well, let me put the lid on here. No, I don't snap this down. I realized I wasn't supposed to. Someone told me. I never had one that snapped down like that. Um, but um, if all my tomatoes make it like I'm hoping it will this summer, because I have like 100 tomatoes <laughs> that started, um, and 100 tomato plants, that is, and... Hopefully, if all those all start, I'm hoping to be able to can like the tomato sauce, um, maybe even some barbecue sauce and things like that. So we'll see. But I'll keep go ahead and I'll keep stirring this. And as this um, cooks a little bit, they'll be um, going. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, cook some rice in the Instapot. And this should be like a done deal here pretty soon. So I will be back. Okay, excuse the dishes in the sink. But yesterday I got a team order in. And this is like a rice, um, like a uh, strainer type thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my jasmine rice, my, my nice little cow container, and do a cup of rice. Put that in here. And then I'm going to go ahead and put that over here in my rice Thing. I'm going to go ahead and start the two cups of water. I've never had a rice um, strainer thing before. I've just always had to do it by hand and always using such a big mess. Knowing that you don't even really have to drain your rice, but a lot of people like to. As you can see, I mean, that has a lot of stuff on there. That's where some of the braces kind of stuck through there. Let me go ahead and get my Instapot liner here. I'm going to go ahead and just put that in my Instapot. I mean, I don't, oh yeah, you just could probably just push those right back through. That's weird that they kind of like they're small enough to you know plug some of those holes. So, anyways, I have my two cups of my filtered water because I live in the city limits, so um, I'm not much on the extra fluoride and everything that they put in the city water. So I'm going to give that a stir. And I put that container inside the Instapot. Put on the lid. Put on pressure um, cook. That's going to go for the three minutes. The pin's going to come up. And I'm going to go ahead and let that actual manually release. Meanwhile, this has cooked for um, an hour. And it is getting liquidy, and I don't understand that because I didn't add liquid to this, okay? So what I am going to do is the rest of the cook time, I am going to go ahead and cook with the lid off because you know that no moisture ever gets out of a crock pot if you leave a lid on there. So I'll just go ahead and keep stirring this, and um, it'll be dinner time here pretty soon. Okay, so the rice is done. I have it on my plate. And um, I left the lid off. This I didn't let this cook for the full three hours that they had said. And, you know, Gordon Food Service, I have a couple of these onion pieces. I may have to call them and complain. Anyways, this is going to be more than enough, probably, for at least two, if not three meals. 
So you would need to make this big of a batch. There was still um, quite a bit of the juice, but I was personally wanting some of the juice because I put it over rice and I don't like dry food. So I'm going to go ahead and pour some of this. Now this smells amazing. Like I said, that girl was like picked on really super bad. So here's what that looks like. And I'll tell you. Yeah, excuse my hair today. I don't know what's going on with my hair. Got a haircut the other day, and sometimes it just doesn't want to deal with it. So let me grab a little bit of uh, chicken, rice, and pepper. Hold on. Um, you can definitely taste the orange in it. Um, I don't know what people were saying that was possibly so bad about this. I don't know for sure if adding an extra pepper and the garlic probably helps maybe the taste. I think this is pretty tasty. My husband, he had a taste. He thought it was pretty tasty himself. So I don't understand. So it's a really fast, easy dinner, and like I said, we usually have we usually have enough for probably two more meals minimum, or at least one. Um, so that's gonna be another day I'm not gonna have to cook. <laughs> so, anyways, thank you for stopping by. Um, let me know in the comments if you've ever made anything like this or what you would change in this. Um, and if you don't agree with this, still be nice. <laughs> just don't just don't comment, I guess. Anyways, but um. Thanks for stopping by. You have a very, very blessed and wonderful day.